What's going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here. Um, coming at you guys with a new thing. So um, I recently got, well, my computer up and running. So now I can start recording videos on the computer. So I will probably do that and uh, still maintain the deck videos and all that and improving your game. But I might just use the computer a little bit more because it's more at my disposal than the camera is right now. But anyways, on to the point at hand. Um, I noticed that I didn't really do a lot of Vanguard stuff in 2013 at least, so I'm dedicated to trying to bring that up a little bit in 2014. So uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, kind of like cards for thought if you watch Difference in Skill, but I won't, I I don't know what I'll call it, but I, I'm just going to do a review of most of the cards that just get shown out. So if, if they get released that day of, I'll probably uh, do a little quick little review on them. And since uh, Infinite Rebirth is the next one to come out, and I'm actually really excited to see it, uh, I'm going to do it on this one. And uh, so we're probably going to do, since there's only like three, I think we'll just do the three right now. So we'll start off with uh, Blue Storm, Industry Dragon, Maelstrom Reverse, or Maelstrom Rivas, if you like to say it like that. And if it ever loads... Yeah, okay. My Yeah, uh, at first when I saw the art, I was like, no way, this does not look like Maelstrom. But then when you look at like the anime, it actually makes a lot of sense. So it's a 11 base, uh, typical reverse, typical power levels nowadays. So its ability is Limit Break 4, uh, Counter Blast 1, and choose one of your rear guards, rest it, and lock it. When this unit attacks a vanguard, if it is the fourth battle of that turn or more, you may pay the cost. If you do until the end of that battle, this unit gets plus 5,000 in critical. And then also auto vanguard at the end of the battle that this unit attack. If the attack did not hit during that battle, draw a card, choose one in opponent's rear guard, and retire it. So, uh, and then there's just continuous, uh, if, like, break ride type of thing. Not break ride, a uh, cross ride, which is now the usual thing nowadays even with the uh, break rise and everything and the lore effect so just considering this like stuff right here um that's important um at first i when i saw that when i just saw this ability on the anime i was like okay five plus five k and a crit it's not really a big deal but then when you read this part at the bottom where it can retire everything that's like that's pretty good because considering the fact that like aqua force it's not that hard to get your units to do four attacks like even if you don't play stands all you need is like uh, the new that grade two guy and you need basil or diamantes or something which is pretty standard to run Incl really diamantes too because um you have the room to do it and it's 11k which is what the base is here so i find this card to be really good it's it's quite balanced in the way that it has you have to counter blast a one to activate the effect so you can't go crazy with it but it's also, but I love the effect how they included Maelstrom's part in where the retire and draw a card. So at the same time, it gives you that advantage and tries to bring you back if you're losing in the game, which is pretty nice. And another thing I liked to, f I found interesting was the fact that, uh, actually no, there isn't really anything else interesting. The crit is a really good thing though when it pushes, it pushes, it forces the opponent to guard if they're at three because if you get a critical, it's over for them. So they're going to be really wary about that, which is pretty interesting because now you don't have to rely on a break ride to do that. And on top of that, um, well, the con would probably kind of be the fact that you need a good setup with Aqua Force to be able to do things like this because the fourth attack at some points against like certain decks, like maybe like Link Joker itself or um, I don't know, uh, Kagero, like Dominate Drive or something like that, if you cannot get your four attacks in like your field presence up then you will not be able to activate the effect so then you'd only get this part right here and then not that part so in a way it's kind of it's kinda, it, it might be a little hard to get it but it, when you do it's going to be really good so anyways this part right here is just like a bonus it's kind of like eradicate or dragonic descent where it pushes you to want to guard well to not guard and just take the damage but then the crit so in a way it's a lose lose for your opponent because they have to waste hand to do it. Now anyways, let's go back to the next page and check out the other two. Wow, I spent like five minutes on that. Uh, yeah, I'll probably keep these down to like three minutes of pop when I get the thing going if my thing is loading. Yeah, I should have load these, loaded these up beforehand. It's my bad, guys. Um, now go to Starry Sky Library 
Guinevere. Guinevere? Guinevere? Maybe? Girl? Yeah? Yeah? Girl? Guy? Is that a guy? Probably guy. I think it looks... No, it's a girl. Most of guys were like that. Okay, so it's a 6k grade 1. I, by the way, I haven't seen most of these cards yet, so... I'm seeing them just for the first time, just like you guys. So, kind of plus one when this use is placed on Guardian Circle. If you have a Vanguard with the Raid's card name, you pay the cost. If you do this, you get shield. Oh, so it's like a shield wing griffin for Kagero. It's not that necessary, I found, because Gold Paladin, they have a tendency to... Well, really, you don't have the room to do it, to use it to begin with, because you have your... Um, what do I call it? your quintet walls and everything and then you also have the fact that you have like a zenith and like all your high powered guys uh, attacking so usually your opponent wouldn't have a big field presence to begin with to attack back and on top of that you just don't have the space to play it because most of the time you're you're either not going to even have because you're going to play it probably at like one or two at best and you're not going to be able to play it like um you're going to have to sacrifice field presence for that even though I know Gold Pile and I'm really good at spamming the field just from the top of the deck, there are situations where you're just going to happen to call us by accident where you would have wanted it in your hand. Besides, you usually have enough 10Ks as it is. I don't see the necessity in having this card played in your deck. I just find it irrelevant. It's just not really necessary. Uh, let's see what I can get now. There should be one more left if my computer loads it. Yeah, we have to drag it. Okay, there we go. Now where is it? I know there's one left. Oh, here we go. Okay, there we go. No wait, no don't don't click on that. Eh? Don't. Let's go. Pale Moon, Grade Two, Misdirection. I don't know if it's play on word of misdirection, like misleading somebody, or if it just means like misdirection. Oh, it's this card, yeah. I've seen this picture. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to like this, just run this, just because of the fact that, well, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I think that a lot of people can understand. I don't play Pale Moon, and uh, I probably, I just play the cards based upon how good they are. I don't play them based upon the looks or anything, unless if it's like really ugly, then I might just up to like run three or less than I'm supposed to because I might not like it but anyways on to the effect auto soul when another pale moon is placed on rear guard circle from your soul if you have a pale moon vanguard you may call this card to rear guard circle if you do at the end of that turn put this unit into your soul so it has a peekaboo effect it's a grade two uh when a pale moon is placed on rear guard circle from your soul if you have a pale moon vanguard you may call this to you Oh okay, I get it. So it's in a way it's really it's it's pretty good because then you don't have to commit as many cards from your hand to use it. You just have to make sure that you have soul charge, which is pretty easy with pale moon. It's pale moon's like precise soul charging, so you could easily just get this in with like the sky high walker. No sky high walker. Uh, I think it's sky high walker. It's the girl who uh, counter blast one in soul charge, which is pretty interesting because it's a it's pretty low. I don't. I wouldn't suggest running this card because you probably need the 8k booster to make this card viable in this format where everything's like 16, 11k vanguards and all that. Even with a uh, when your opponent's playing the 9k vanguard, you still have to put like a what is it? 6k? Yeah, 6k booster behind it. So in a way, it's really good where you can get like a uh, field presence easily without dropping hand advantage. But another way is that another way is also bad because you have to return it at the, at the end of that turn, put this unit into your soul, so you can only use it to attack, and then it goes back into your soul, so you technically lost the opportunity to have an interceptor there, or something where your opponent could actually like focus their attention on. Whereas uh, now you just reduced the options for your opponent, so they instead of opting to maybe perhaps think about taking down your rear guards, they can kill one rear guard but still have two attacks for the vanguard instead of where they could have gone for all like two rear guards and then the vanguard so i think that this card will not be that viable unless if people opt to run it just because of the looks but i would not run it in my opinion okay guys that has been the review for the um what you might call it the 
well, the first three cards of v, VG BT15 Infinite Rebirth. I'm really looking forward to the rest of it. Um, I'm really looking forward to Shadow Paladins because it is pretty cool seeing stuff like that. I like the Shadow Paladin clan as it is. And seeing like the cards like this, uh, let's see if I can click it. Yeah, like that. That's the Mordred Phantom Cross Ride, Old Break Ride, yeah. And seeing like him and that and that, and then seeing the real big card that is in the back, the promo card here. It seems to be like Kai's Ace or something. I'm really looking forward to it. So, um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Please comment, fit, uh, like, favorite. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, it really helped me. Um, I'm hoping to do more things like this and just see, having you guys support me would be great. And in other news, I have also started doing things like such as uh, Log Horizon. Well, uh, I'm starting to do anime playmat custom designs. Uh, don't mind the image, it's a little blurry for some reason, even though it's pretty high qual high resolution in the actual, in the actual uh, Photoshop format. So yeah, I've been starting to do custom designs and everything, and I will be taking orders, so Feel free to draw me a PM or anything. Uh, I don't know about how much I'll charge for them. I'll probably be really cheap though, because considering it's just like a file or something, maybe like a few bucks here, but it's not that expensive. And if but if you want, I could get it also printed and everything for you guys, and it'd be really nice. It's shipped out directly to you. You get I'll give you the file, or if, I'll give you the file and the picture and the playmat if you want for together. It'd make a nice present. Uh, not well, not a nice present, and make a nice like little thing here. I am uh making more designs and I am planning on releasing this to you this at least this picture to you guys as a present as a late uh, new year present or something but that will be in another video because there are probably gonna be th two other photos attached to it because I want to give you guys a decent amount of stuff so anyways guys this has been Tony from team divine pro hope you enjoyed the video thumbs favorite up uh, like it subscribe to the channel and I will catch you next guys next time this has been Tony from team divine pro signing off